Good morning, guys. Happy Earth Day. <clears throat> Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020, for 22-20, and it is Earth Day today. Today's going to look a lot different than any other Wednesday. You're going to have some activities for Earth Day, and if we were in school, it would look a lot different too. So we would have lots of fun today with different activities. So I found some activities that I hope you enjoy and that you could do at home. Okay, so we are today, the 22nd, which is Wednesday. Okay, let's start off with our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, thoughts, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, guys, get your spelling books out. Today is Wednesday. That means tomorrow is Thursday, and you are going to have your spelling test tomorrow. So we are working on pages 190 and page 191, okay? So on page 190, spelling test practice. Test tip. If you have time, check your answers again. Now, you always have time to check your answers in class. Um, that would mean for tests that are timed, like your Kogats or your Iowas. Directions. Find the phrase containing an underlined word that is not spelled correctly. If all the underlined words are spelled correctly, mark all correct. So let's look at the example. A, nearly soundless. B, very careful. C, terrible sickness. D, anyone home. E, all correct. So what letter will I fill in? B, very careful. Careful is spelled incorrectly. So we would spell careful, C-A-R-E-F-U-L. All right, so I want you to do numbers one through eight. And then hop over to page 191, health illness. Write the words from the box to complete this note. Use your spelling dictionary if you need to. So on the right there, you have words um, for sickness. So we have fever, flu, stomach, ache, and chills. So I want you to fill in that letter um, to complete the illness letter. And then at the bottom... Oh, you don't have to do the bottom. We'll skip the bottom today. So just page 190, 1 through 8, and page 191, the illness letter. Okay? So pause me and then come back on. <clears throat> okay, guys. So you should be on page 190, and it should be finished. Let's look at number 1. Which one of those is spelled incorrectly? It is D, no softness. S-O-F-T-N-E-S-S. -S. Number two is G, useful. U-S-E-F-U-L, just one L. Number three would be C, painless. P-A-I-N-L-E-S-S. -S. Number four would be H, fearless. F-E-A-R-L-E-S-S. -S. Number five would be A, weekly, W-E-A-K-L-Y. Number six would be all correct, K. Number seven, that would be a letter B, wouldn't, W-O-U-L-D-N apostrophe T. And then number seven would actually be hear the sound. They have the wrong homophone there, so it should be H-E-A-R. Okay? All right, let's hop over to page 191. Dear Principal Raskin, 
Please exclude, excuse Lewis for not being in school last week. He was too sick to do his schoolwork. One minute he was burning up with a high fever. He also felt sore and seemed to ache all over. The next minute he had chills and shook, even with a blanket over him. His stomach was upset, so he had trouble eating. The doctor said Lewis had the flu, but Lewis is fine now. Sincerely, Olga Delgado. Okay, so that's it for unit 29. Um, now, if you read my little note yesterday, um, I realized from Julia's response to me that I didn't give you vocab words. So, of course, we're not going to do vocab words for our spelling test tomorrow. We're just going to do our unit 29, 1 through 18 words, okay? So no extra vocab words. And I think it's a great idea that we just not do vocab words for the rest of the year since we only have four days to study our words, okay? All right, so I hope that makes you happy. But tomorrow's our spelling test. And again, today's going to look a little different. So um, you may look at a, some, some of the assignments and be like, hey, this isn't reading, it's Earth Day activities. So I found a couple of um, fun Earth Day activities I thought maybe you would enjoy. And that's what we're going to do instead of some of our subjects today. Okay? All right. Well, I hope you enjoy Earth Day. Bye, guys.